<laughs> Stevie said, I enlisted the help of diabetic dollars because if anybody can embarrass Erica Mena, it's him. Now that I believe. Diabetic dollars, you look like a California prune. Not a raisin, but a prune. You were proud to see Estelita singing along to a man's backing track. Mimi, you're pathetic. Also, it's the reunion, and you just now piping up? So everybody going to this peace rally for Shooter's son, but Sierra know if Keely there, she gonna have to check her in the chin with a purse, and that's not appropriate. Oh, this baby shower is bougie at ho. Oh, fuck, it's dawn. Them braids is fresh, though. I gotta give her that. She evil as hell, but she looking sharp. So Stevie J gonna bring the Erica Mena bullshit to Sean Garrett at this shower. And they gonna get into a fake almost skirmish. But ain't shit happened. But security got some camera time. That's all that happened with that. I hope security is getting double payment for this. Both the extra rate and their security rate. Because they deserve it. I see the security people more than I see half the stars on this show. And I use the word stars loosely. Loose as they are. And I gotta say, Sean and Stevie are both some messy sissies, so that's a slap fight I'd like to see. Meanwhile, across town, is trying to help Shooter plan this march against gun violence in honor of his son. And of course, Keely shows up and acts a true ass. I mean, she did hit her in the face with that marker pretty good, but this was neither the time nor the place. Jock tries to check her and she stays on her ignorance, much like the vixen. And Shooter's so upset, he just had to leave. Keely, you've really shown us you have no respect for human life. I know dish rags with more respect and dignity than you. But let's talk about Shooter's dreads. That's a wig. And I'm not hearing anything else. That That's a wig. He started out with really thick dreads. Now he got really thin. Honey, those are wigs. That shit looks like yarn. So now we got Erica and Spice giving the Adam's apple hell for what he's put Rashida through. Now, Rashida, how does it make you feel that your friends wouldn't tolerate the same treat that you do? Does it make you feel like a fool? Or do you feel that they just don't understand what it takes to keep a successful plotline marriage together? Because I'll tell you, y'all be given plotline for real, for real. I mean, they bullshit, but you did more than Erica Dixon who ain't on the show. Maybe they're like a low-budget Mara and Brock Akeel. Storytellers bound in love. Nah, I don't think so. They just playing at marriage for a paycheck. So Keeley's marker throwing got her disinvited to the rally. Good on Shooter for that. Scooter also slips in the information that that child ain't his. I mean, it's fabulous you haven't bred another bastard. But your divorce is done. Your marriage is moot. It's over, sis. Move on. And Carly, why you gonna ask if Jock's the father? Why you always gotta start shit? Give yourself five minutes of looking decent. Oh, God, now we got Erica and Tokyo. I don't know how these two got together, but I wish production hadn't pulled it. And up sashays Stevie in a pink penis print pant. You saw it. I know I did. Now we got Rich hollering at Erica. You know I helped your career. You know, mm, Rich, you ain't do shit. But Erica didn't have anything to offer, so you two were a match made in mediocre and talentless. And skis. True. Skis. Tokyo ain't even getting involved in this bullshit. But this is a bunch of rah rah. You know, Erica, I'll agree with you. This is a dud. This plot line was a dud. Security rushing her into the car like diabetic dollars is some kind of threat. Boy, they love putting them in that production dodge. Rich, it's the same old Erica, but it's also the same old you. You flew down to be a part of your old ass plot line. Keely, you're a lying piece of shit. The fact that you really describe the way Sierra walked into that door as any kind of aggressive. You have a pernicious agenda. I can't stand people like you. You're the bane of this world's existence and you deserve to rot in hell. Okay, this Tommy rehab plot line, I'm over it. I, it doesn't seem sincere. If I want the girl to get better, and I don't think that this is the venue for it. Like, let her do a season of rehab or something. Come up with a whole new show. What is she going to do? Oh, I'm fast forwarding. I just, I can't. 
I can't. I'm not going to watch you make fun of a fucking addict. Oh, okay, they release in their music video. Great. I'm sure she could use the money. Oh, great, Jennifer Dimes having her baby. You really walked out of the house with a towel between your legs for Heffa Scott Young? I hope she gave you an extra 50 thou for that. I mean, she's got to give her actual money since pregnant women can't live off of a chicken gift card. Even Mona's not that cruel. But believe me, if she could get away with it, she would. Oh, Geraldine had a beautiful, healthy baby. Good for her. Now, Sierra, I like you. I don't like the tennis balls you keep in your cheeks, but I like you. However, you gotta leave, BK girl. You went from one cheater to another, so that means you ain't gonna be happy. And I want to see you win. We rarely get to see people win. Let, let's see somebody win. You could give us Kim Kimball tease. Except, you know, not being sufferable like Kim Kimball, because, oh. She was just unpleasant on that show. Erica Mena, that rich dollar scene was the most action you've gotten in the whole show. You were supposed to cause drama, but you couldn't even start any decent shit. You're a 30-year-old failure. And we're tired of looking at you. I want to see Spice win, too. She showed her ass a little bit this season, so I'm going to need her to pull it back because I feel like you have an actual following, actual talent. Like, can we focus on your music? We need more dance music, so go forth, honey. Go forth. And now we have Tokyo, who's leaving the season, fan favorite. She came, she conquered, and now we're going to see what she's going to give us next season because she might be able to give us K. Michelle. We might be able to see her win, but I just wish she'd take some of that metal out of her nose. It's so distracting. It's like, do you need a Kleenex? Oh, but she's still with Tobias. Good luck with that. And then Jock is still Jock, and Carly is trying to sell vibrators and she can't keep a man so i guess she knows what she's talking about all right let's get to the reu first off shout out to its rocks for being in the audience i think i'm more excited to see her than the reunion what the hell does mama d have on jennifer dime named her baby blessings i actually think that's a really cute name hi i'm blessings how are you that's cute that's cute good way to command a room all right, let's talk about the looks. Look away! That, that's what most of those looks give me, is look away! Nina. This wig, there's something about it that's off. Mm. Or maybe it's I don't like the color of the dress. Carly Red's giving us feathered fashion with all that baby hair shit going on up here. And then that real thick feathered eyebrow. Mm -hmm. She's paying homage to her avian roots. We gonna open up with Kirk and Rashida. Why don't you open up with something we give a fuck about? I mean, ain't nothing on the show, but I'm sure you could find something different. <laughs> Stevie, Kirkula, and Rashida Frost are not black excellence or black love at its finest. They can teach you how to play at America. But honey, don't put that bullshit on black love, please. Black love ain't got shit to do with outside churn. Rashida looks really nice. It's amazing that Candy Burris can't look as nice as this with all that money. And Candy's got a really pretty face too, so I just don't see why she always fails at reunions. But Rashida can succeed. You know what, Rashida, you need to get uh, Candy together with them looks. Go on and help her spend the whole $100 because she really trying to get them $39.99 dresses and they never fit right. I keep looking for rocks. <laughs> Rashida, you see, you in a real bad position, baby girl. You can't try to defend Kirk when he ain't shit either. And we looking at you sideways for staying in this marriage. I mean, girl, I guess, but. Them stories are yours. You could finish raising your children on your own. I ain't saying you can't let him be involved, but you can move on and be happy. You ain't got to be with somebody that treats you like shit on they shoe. I don't think that's a good role model for children either. But you know what? Your life, your business. Not my circus, not my clowns. Jasmine, I actually like this little ice skater outfit you got on because, you know, it's love and hip hop and you're going to have to deal with certain ice skater outfits. So I'm going to just have to judge it on what it is. Like, I can't even compare they shit to normal clothes. What does Tierra have on next to her? It's cute, but that's 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 not for reunion. It's too plain. And your hair is a fool. 
Young Jock, your hair is a fool too. I know y'all got to be hot sitting under them lights. Young Jock got 80 layers of denim on. No, I actually, now Rashida, I don't think Jasmine wanted pity. Jasmine said, well, look, Rashida wasn't coming to me, so I had to go to her. The question was, why did you go to Houston? That was the answer. There was no pity there. Like, she mad at me, so I got to go to her. Like, Rashida, I know you want to attack her, but the time to read and roast was during the show. She's owning her shit now. You want to look big mad, but you still with the man who hurt you. Like, I don't know where all this energy for Jasmine is coming from when the man who took vows with you, who stood in front of God and your family with you, who's had children with you, has been treating you like shit on his shoe. So I need you to keep that same energy for the frost fuck up. Because, yeah, Jasmine ain't shit. Jasmine is skeezy ho. Jasmine a two-time and home record. We know that. But I don't expect more from a less ass bitch. I do, however, expect more from my husband. So I'm going to need you to get your priorities right because you're trying to snap on this girl who's owned her shit, whereas Kirk has still managed to slink and sneak by and you let it pass like a fool. Or she did not lay down by herself. Your man brought her into your life. Had your man kept his pants zipped. Wouldn't be nothing. Jasmine could have huzzied around him all she wanted if he ain't want her. If he was focused on his wife, wouldn't have been no issue. Rashida trying to act like Jasmine the only person in the wrong to keep her sorry ass marriage together. And you look like a fool. A stone cold fool. Tierra, it was important for you to fly out to Houston and join the group because you ain't have no camera time and you need a check. Let's go a ding a ding. Ooh, Rashida, that shoe. Rashida, that shoe is something special. That shoe's almost redeeming you for this sorry-ass behavior. I hope you ain't pregnant. See, if I was in Rashida's shoes, I wouldn't be mad at the hussy because I, I, she don't owe me shit. You don't owe me shit. If you want to fuck up my life and be somebody evil, hey, that's the way the world goes sometimes. Sometimes you got to face an enemy. I can understand and accept that. Like, okay, you don't like me and now you got a vendetta against me. People are fucked up. But my husband? My husband? Uh-uh. Mm -mm. Now, he might have gotten some front and some back tire. But I ain't giving a fuck about nobody's home wrecking hoe and they opinions. But the man I took vows with, that's where my issue gonna lie. Because now you owe me something. I done cooked for you, I done cleaned up after you, I done loved on you, and this is the thanks I get on the fuck on. That's what we're not doing. Not in courtroom 506. Not to motherfucking day. That's what we're not doing. Rashida, y'all, was booed up. I don't know what it is about Kirk, but he puts that Adam's apple on your clitoris and gets to humming, and honey, you can't take it. Erica Mena. Erica Mena. Why are you wearing this collection of doilies? And Spice, this outfit ain't doing nothing for you. Esqualita. Ugh. The way your silicone's sagging in this red dress, it's, it's unappetizing. It's unappealing. And it's unattractive. You look like one of them gel balls that's flattened itself out. I've never seen a natural human body that looks like this, but... Hey, if that's what you want to look like, go ahead, girl. Go ahead. A new improved Erica Mena, please. This was Erica Mena negative 2.0. The heifer at least was able to start some interesting shit in New York. She came to Atlanta and lost all her mojo because wasn't nobody fucking with her. Because she's a poisoned person with a pernicious agenda. Erica Mena ain't shit. She's a nasty, foul, and vile being. There's nothing good about her on the inside or the out. And I'm not just joking saying that. It's the truth. And it's really sad. And hell, Rox tweeted. Rox tweeted that she saw her in real life and she saw the shit I was talking about. I done tried to tell y'all that woman is evil. Evil as the day is long. Evil incarnate. Satan is her father and Beelzebub is her mama. I tried to tell y'all, but nobody wanted to listen to me. Why do you think she went to Atlanta? Nobody in the city will fuck with her because she's evil. Like, it's beyond messy. It's beyond unprofessional. The woman ain't shit. It's downright malicious. New York knows. 
Honey, New York knows. So Nina asked Erica, uh, how Jazzy Faye's boot camp work out for you? And she said it led her to work with Sean Garrett. That wasn't Jazzy. That was Mona. So the boot camp ain't do shit for you. Go on and tell the truth. Lying piece of shit. Okay, uh, Mimi, I like this Lisa Frank dress you're wearing. I, I wish you had gone with black hair, but, but, all in all, girl, you slaying. I can't even fuck around. The black hair is just a preference, not a necessity. Hello. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay great, thank you so much. All right, bye. My refrigerator broke. They're sending me a new one. Thank God. Oh, I had to defrost it, and then it still wasn't working, and then food was going bad. You know how it is when your fridge fucked up. Your whole house fucked up. You're like, shit, it kind of, my whole house revolves around this one appliance. The refrigerator and the stove. If, them, if my kitchen fucked up, I'm fucked up. Because a bitch like to eat. So now Stevie and Erica Mena are going back and forth, and I am genuinely fuckless because it's contrived. Erica's trying to call him a bitch, and then you gonna call other people's kids baby's kids, but then get mad when somebody says spend time with your chop. See, that's why you ain't shit. Now, Sean Garrett, you may have 52 number ones, but why the fuck did you come on this show? Either you were thirsty for money or thirsty for fame. Damn, Stevie. The whole audience said you wasn't going to bust a grape. And they right. They, I don't know, though. I don't know. Nah, he ain't going to bust a grape. But Sean Garrett, you and your fucked up hairline ain't doing shit either. I love how two sissies in sequins are arguing about see me in the streets. I'm still waiting for rocks. Oh, God. They really trying to make Erica seem like she was a valid part of the show. They have a stepped in for two seconds and didn't do shit when she did. I see the way VH1 trying to spin it. So now it's Evil, Empanada, and Just Ronald. And they talking over each other too damn much. We barely have fucks for this. Okay, and now we get into if Just Britney fucks Stevie J. I mean, it's cheaper than paying for studio time. I don't know, that dick a little too big and a little too well-traveled for me, but... If it came down to 1,200 studio time or some bus, hell, bus is free. I could do a hell of a lot more with $1,200 than my bussy. Throw a condom on it and let's record. So, of course, Keely got to be involved in some bullshit. And she says, well, I dropped the hoe off at his house. She told me they was fucking. Who's shocked? Stevie J fucked a potential artist. Film at 11. I feel like the girl saw the picture of the dick online and said, you know what, let me give this a try. Now Brittany asking where the song at, and that's a good question. Hell, we could ask the same for Joseline. She was on for six seasons with no music. Six. No. So they usher Brittany off. Spice, you look terrible. Your makeup running, I don't know why you crying. Brittany, I ain't never heard shit from you either. So all that, I'm a real artist, I have real music, whatever, helpful. I could put backpedal and pussy pop on SoundCloud too, but a singer that does not make. Oh, and now Escalita like, uh-uh, honey, no, you fucked her because I was at the threesome. Okay, and it's time to bird watch with Carly Red and her plot line. Damn. I want to sing the Inspector Gadget theme so bad, but... You know them copyright people be on your ass, honey. Now, Carly was a part of the show this season. Carly earned her check. Carly ran off with shoes. Now, Carly, I'm sorry. You throw pussy like you drop feathers, often, and whenever you take flight. Girl, you threw C's of the pussy, and we saw. We saw. Nina Parker, we don't care if Jock and Carly are on again, off again, real again, or fake again. Do you give a fuck? Huh, now Jock bringing up some side of the building shit. Uh, really, y'all for trying to fuck on the side of buildings? Is that what heterosexuals do? Mm, I can't relate. Have I ever, I mean, now I've been paying rent for a minute, so I'm like, as long as I'm paying for a place to fuck, I'm fucking there. 
I'm an at-home fucker. I don't, I don't like to be fucking in cars or fucking in the street. I'm a big bitch, so I, you know, I need my room. Give me a bed. Not a shower, not a side of a building, a bed. Ew, he had his finger in her ear. What kind of earwax fetish y'all got? Go no, 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 no. Keep your fingers out my fucking ear. The seeing that pissed me off. Oh, oh. Stevie J, Danger Zone is not a huge conglomerate. And the only thing that has your business out here looking bad is you and this child support nonsense. Is you and your lack of hits. Is you and the need you have to work with artists with no talent. Oh, God, Stevie J's still on his. He want 30% of the walkthroughs. Heffa, you ain't done shit to get shut up, Stevie. I believe, Empanada, your company ain't even legitimate. So your contract is fraudulent. Esquilita, don't give him a dime. Stevie and Erica are going at it again, and I don't care. I don't care. You're both has-beens. Well, no. Stevie, you a has-been. Erica, you a never was. But Stevie, at least your feet ain't look crusty. I'll give you that. I was scared when they came out. Erica, I'm going to give you a little lesson in human sexuality. That ain't how it worked. Mimi went lesbian because she was a lesbian. Not because of Stevie J. I'm sorry, too many other women out here get burnt, hurt, and whatever else by men, and they go find some good dick to sit on. If that's how it worked, the whole world would have gone les by now. Men would be going gay every time a woman hurt them. Nobody would be heterosexual if that's how shit worked. I still ain't seen rocks. I'm going to have to rewatch the episode so I don't have to focus on them so I can focus on finding rocks. Somebody put the timestamp in the episode of where she is. Okay, and then they end the shit with Tommy and they bring her out for like a half second. And that's where the episode end with, talk, with her talking about her ankle bracelet. So we gonna come in with the same bullshit next week. I'm gonna see you soon. Tell a kin, tell a friend, tell that heifer you hate.